take a look at this animation in this animation you find that the angle at which the ball is being thrown on the smooth ground is the same angle at which the ball is bouncing back up that is the angle at which it is coming onto the ground is the same angle at which it is bouncing up now consider another case over here a ball is being thrown on a rough surface you will notice that the angle at which the ball is falling on the rough surface is not the same as the angle at which it is bouncing back up why do you think it is so let us find out through scientific explanations let us consider the case of a smooth ground first on a smooth surface what is happening on a smooth surface if we consider consecutive points and if we draw normals at these points that is if we draw perpendiculars at these points you will notice that these are parallel to one another hence when a parallel beam of incident rays are coming in this parallel beam will be reflected parallelly that is when this parallel incident beam hits the smooth surface it will be reflected parallelly this kind of reflection that is taking place on a smooth surface is known as specular reflection and what happens in specular reflection in specular reflection the light parallelly coming in is reflected parallelly so what can be an example of specular reflection specular reflection takes place on a smooth mirror when light falls when a parallel beam of light falls on a smooth mirror with parallel rays the beam that is reflected also has parallel rays now can you tell me what can be another example for specular reflection do you remember the first animation that i showed you in that animation a ball was falling on a smooth surface and was getting reflected in the exact same angle at which it was falling so that is also an example of specular reflection now consider the example of the rough surface what is happening on a rough surface if you notice closely if we consider consecutive points on a rough surface you will notice that the normals drawn at these points are not parallel to one another so when a parallel incident beam comes in do you think that they are reflected in a parallel manner they are not when these parallel rays are coming in the reflected rays are not parallel to one another why is this happening because as i just mentioned the normals on consecutive points are not parallel so this kind of reflection where a parallel ray incident on the rough surface are not parallelly reflected is known as diffuse reflection so what can be an example of a diffuse reflection notice this picture on the board over here you find a brick wall light falling on a brick wall undergoes diffuse reflection why because a brick wall is a rough surface as you can clearly see there are a lot of irregularities so if parallel rays of light fall on the brick wall the reflected rays of light will not be parallel what can be another example for diffuse reflection do you remember the second animation that i showed you in that animation what did you see in that animation a ball was being dropped on a rough surface and the angle at which it was falling was not the same as the angle at which it was bouncing back so the ball falling on the rough surface was also an example of diffuse reflection now we know that different surfaces reflect light differently on a smooth surface light undergoes specular reflection and on a rough surface light undergoes diffuse reflection 
Now, let me tell you a very interesting thing. Did you know that drivers often preferred to drive on dry roads and not on wet roads? Why do you think it is so? Why do you think that drivers avoid wet roads but prefer dry roads? Let us find out. What happens on a dry surface is, a dry road is a rough surface. And what did I tell you about a rough surface? That if we draw normals on consecutive points, they are not parallel. So in that case, parallel rays incident on the surface after reflection will not be parallel. These rays are scattered out in all directions. So due to this, light falling on the road scatters and is spread evenly. And thus, the driver is able to see the road ahead of him very clearly. Now, what happens in the case of a wet road? Well, when the road is wet, the water on it, it fills the crevices or the irregularities in the road are filled by the water with the result that the surface becomes a smooth surface. And what happens on a smooth surface? When the surface is smooth, normals drawn on consecutive points are parallel. Due to this, when parallel rays are incident on the surface of the smooth surface, they are reflected parallelly. Due to this, what happens is, the parallel reflected beam causes a very bright glare. And due to this bright glare, Drivers prefer not to drive on wet roads because it is very distracting and it becomes difficult for the driver to drive in such conditions. Look at this picture on the board. This picture depicts a dry road. You will notice that you have no difficulty in looking ahead in the road in this picture. Why? Because light falling on the road is reflected evenly it scatters in all directions and thus there is no difficulty. But if the road is wet, you will notice that the wet road forms glares. It is due to these glares that the driver is unable to drive properly on the wet road. It becomes very unsafe for the driver to drive. So taking a quick recap, what did we learn? We learned that light undergoes two kinds of reflection depending on the surface on which it falls. If it falls on a smooth surface, it undergoes specular reflection. In specular reflection, a parallel incident rays are reflected parallelly. The second type of reflection is diffuse reflection. In diffuse reflection, what happens? A parallel beam of light after reflection from a rough surface is reflected in a non-parallel manner or in other words it is scattered this is known as diffuse reflection we also learn that drivers prefer to drive on dry roads rather than wet roads the reason behind this is a dry road is a rough surface and light falling on it undergoes diffuse reflection due to this light is scattered evenly in all directions and the driver is able to see the road clearly in front of him. But in the case of a wet road, the surface of the road becomes a smooth surface. And on this smooth surface, when light falls, it undergoes specular reflection. Due to this, a parallel beam of incident light is reflected parallelly. What happens is, it leads to regions of glare on the road, and this makes it increasingly difficult for drivers to drive on wet roads.